Writing project number one. Hey, we just want to be able to solve a quadratic equation in three different ways, and really in two different ways. Because um, I really don't think that the factoring skill is as critical. If you can use a quadratic formula to find the zeros, you can you can reverse engineer a factorization that's fit to please any teacher. So anyway, let's do the quadratic formula. Um, so a x squared plus bx plus c equals 0 implies x is negative b plus or minus the square root. Notice I'm writing the b squared minus 4ac before I decide how big my square root has to be. The square root of b squared minus 4ac and the whole thing divided by 2a. And b squared minus 4ac is the discriminant, not discriminate, but discrim in ant is the discriminant, discriminant, do it first, always, always, if I see you not doing that first, I'm going to know you're not paying attention and you're just going to lose some efficiency and you'll probably drop some points because you just think you're too smart and uh, you're going to make mistakes. You're going to make misjudgments. You're going to waste time. Um, anyway, A equals, it looks like the coefficient of X here is 1. Let me go ahead and get a pointer out. Um, here we go. Isn't he nice? The coefficient of x here is 1. There's an invisible 1 right there. a equals 1. b equals 1. The coefficient of x in the constant term is a negative 6. I should write that a little bit better for those who come after. Some people won't even want to see the video. They just want to see the work I did. So b squared minus 4ac is 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times a negative 6 equals 1 plus 24. Oh, come on, man. You give me one that's going to factor. 25. 25 is positive. Two real zeros. See, the discriminant tells you what you're up against every time. Um, the, the fact that it's positive tells me it's two real zeros. 25 is a perfect square. And that tells me it factors old school. Yeah, maybe some of you looking at it are just going, yep, x plus 3 times x minus 2. Moving on. Um, and that is how it factors. Um, tells me it factors. And the zeros, the solutions to the equation, will be rational. No square roots of 7 or square root of 3 in there. Okay, no radicals in the, in the final answer. It's all going to be rational. So there's my b squared minus 4ac, and I've done my analysis. I've analyzed the situation, so I kind of know what to expect. And now I sing the song to myself. Um, every time you do a quadratic equation or quadratic formula problem, write out the formula. You guys are so used to just having it written once, and then you'll refer to it while you're doing your homework, and then you whine because you can't remember it. Well, no. If you write that sucker out, maybe even sing it to yourself, x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Um, yeah, if you could sing that song. Anyway, there's no reason for you, a college student, not to be able to get this right. Okay, quadratic formula. It, it's something that we ask students to learn in about the ninth grade. Okay, and you're much better than a ninth grader, believe me. Okay, you just need some training. So b is 1, so that's negative b is negative 1, plus or minus. Now, the nice thing about this is there's no ugly square roots. 
you do the discriminant first, and look, boom, it's right there. At 25 goes right under the square root. And the A was 1. Okay, so it's minus 1 plus or minus that over that. Now just simplify. Square root of 25 is a nice clean 5. Let the radicals went away. No more terrorists. So minus 1 plus 5 divided by 2 is 4 over 2, which is 2. And minus 1 minus 5 over 2 is minus 6 over 2 equals minus 3. So x is in this set. And let me give you a preview of factoring. Oh, I'll, I'll save that for the next video. Yep. Anyway, there's a solution, and you can check that. I'm not going to, but you should. You're doing this for a grade, right? Plug it in. Plug in minus 3, see if it works. Plug in the 2, see if it works. I'll show you another way to, to think about that in, this, in the SQL video.